Joe. Uh, this is Joe and baseball number five. Just give me a strong. Give it a good shot, Mike. Boom, boom. Yeah, Mike. There you go. Oh, nice job.
Have you ever imagined to leap in front of an eight-foot fence to rob someone's home run in front of a sold-out stadium? Would you like to know the feeling to hit a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth inning with two men out, one man on first, and your team is down by one? Do you know what it's like to be a fat-free body mass and an improved bone density by doing workouts in or outside the gym? The Humanities Communication Arts Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directory, the show that introduces you to television future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join your host, Camille Michael, to meet the new director. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. Our guest today is a person who is all out passion for baseball. He is fully concentrated on progressing mental and physical stamina in order to remain prepared for baseball season. Additionally, his fascination with making videos for his awesome YouTube channel has proven successful with several hundred subscribers. Now, I would like you to meet our guest today, Michael Shiro. How you doing? Good. So, what are some of the most interesting things about you being a baseball player? Well, I shall say, I've been playing baseball for a long time. I mean, for the past 10, uh, 12 years now, even though, um, not like the time when I was in Little League. And also, um, speaking of email for being baseball, not unless uh, I'm right now trying to get in shape to work it out as much as I can. And But even though with the support of my friends, uh, cousins, and family, and uh, with all the support I have, and, uh, well, to be honest, uh, even though I feel like, damn, uh, right now I haven't played baseball in a long time. Well, personally, I'm trying to get back in shape, and uh, even though that's one of my dreams, by the way, to become a professional baseball player. Training with successful athletes taught me necessary practices for success on and off the field. You can see myself in the Little League teams, like from, uh, it was in North Stamper where I used to play, like in Little League in three different levels. Um, also, it, yeah, that's my achievement trophy, and uh, you know, that I received when I was in high school, by the way. And you can see also myself w working out on the treadmill, and as well as with weightlifting. Well, even though filming my performance gave some of my friends, families, and acquaintances the opportunity to evaluate my techniques most of the time, even though my prosperous hobby of filming went viral each day as I gained tons of subscribers on my well-known YouTube channel, as a matter of fact, going to the gym then practicing my swings at the bank cage with teammates developed long-term bonds. You can see myself doing bench in the gym and then he was myself practicing swing in the gym, which is really nice. Like, I'm trying to get the routine in here. Nice. Thank you for that. And, uh, well, even though these, fr these friendships not only last, but can develop future career opportunities with more people supporting my films and critiquing my techniques. And here we are. You can see myself uh, warming up with the, the baseball team at high school. Even though my teammates are really uh, passionate about myself, because it mentioned, and also you could see me practicing uh, outfielder and oh, nice coaches uh, uh, throwing balls for me to hit. And here you can see coming up, uh, that's my baseball game when I was in JV. Oh wow! Maybe. Tell us why did you decide to take this course? Before I had to take this course, I originally thought that maybe like since it says film and TV, my idea was like maybe do some filming with cameras since I would like to be interested and in become uh, like being a filmmaker. Even though since I also record videos for my YouTube channel and I thought maybe to come here and learn how to do things more professional. And even though this course introduced new material that expanded my knowledge on developing films by practicing composition techniques, lighting strategies, and a variety of camera shots, well, randomly, uh, well, this experience provided ways to utilize camera functions and capabilities. Filming brings personal enjoyment and process to display my activities publicity. Well, as an appreciation, there's much to learn and develop you know, skills in the TV and production is a talent that creates captivity's results. This is a motivation for actor towards pursuing a relatable career, and I was looking forward to use it in the future, personally, for me. Tell us some of the most interesting things you have learned in this course. I've accomplished plenty of skillful approaches, involving preparation for video shooting, including establishing a list of props, 
and gathering equipment for a number of projects. The production process is eye-opening, from aspects and image creation to the importance of production, environment, equipment, including high-quality lighting and sound effects, management of producers, and shooting a variety of multiple angles. Well, it depends. If I have enough cameras to use, well, most likely still using one camera positioning-wise. So. So, tell us about the phone sequence, the teacup sequence, the winter in New England, and the orange project that you got the chance to produce for this course. Well, sure thing. About the phone sequence, uh, even though the phone sequence is also an example uh, of how to use cameras in multiple uh, positions, angles, with, uh, even with the variety of action close by, I set up the production thoroughly within various locations to set the position to film. Well, we shot plenty of footage all around the East Campus, but we had our idea started by using the storyboard, writing the scripts, and rehearsing multiple times. You know, it's a beautiful day outside. Yes, sir. The teeth cup sequence involved with the use of storyboard, writing the script, and with multiple camera positions, which just like I did in the phone sequence, well, you know, I had to use a storyboard uh, to uh, locate diagrams randomly and also even though I used multiple shots of, and uh, after plenty of preparations to come up with this idea. The Winter Wonderland involved a great deal of composition such as applying points of entrance, lines of grace, about continuous zooms, uh, uh, framing, the rule of thirds, and mergers as well as the letter. Here you can see, even though it's a snowy day on the golf course and uh, you can see myself walking on the snow, and that's an S you're looking, as well as a, what a beautiful uh, lake with the birds, and, um, and, the, and the bench. Well, in the Orange Project, uh, it, it kind of involves multiple close-ups of people, and, and within objects, and uh, as well with the shot, and then I uh, added some music to it, uh, enhance the video. I had to take some pictures as a creative storyboard of where I could shoot some footage. I've recorded an hour and ten minutes of footage and edited it to make a two-minute project. So you can see, uh, it's a friend of mine who did that at uh, my high school baseball field, and, you, and I came up with this idea, like maybe like hitting orange, like an, like an orange home run. But even though it's it's kind of an idea, since I said I'm passionate about hitting a home run in a baseball game. Okay. Well, oh, thank you for sharing those four projects with us. Oh, you're welcome. Just making appreciation about that, though. And at least as much as I can do. All right. So, tell us about your best project. I just say, out of all these projects, the Orange Project involved in tricky volume of shooting techniques. Let's listen for a minute. Well, with all of the different shots I've explained before, I tried my best to edit multiple footage to take a two-minute video. Though I had to put a lot of hard work on this project with only one person. You can see, like, uh, using one by one, this is the water. Oh no. I feel like. I when I was over there, I was like feeling excited and passionate, and even though I feel like I'm in training and working hard to do this, even though I feel like I'm nine. And here's my friend uh, walking over the orange, as well as I came close by, gives the orange, and then I pick it up, and then pull the orange to salute. You have talked about some of the interesting things you have learned in this course. How are you planning to apply some of these things to your life? Even though the most interesting and important skills I've learned in this course, even though it's not like how to operate the camera effectively, as a matter of fact, I would look forward to use these skills. I would like to improve my filming techniques with my personal equipment to know how to do things professionally. Even though I love to make film videos, which could also help me to achieve my goals, even though for my YouTube channel, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, by the way. Today, you got to meet someone who has an extreme performance in playing baseball. Additionally, he's right now making videos which are very creative and which go on his YouTube channel. He hopes to use these skills to make more videos professionally. I would like you to thank our guest, Michael Shearer. Thank you for having me. You know, it's, a, it's been a pleasure. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors and 
We hope you continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you so much and have a good day. Oh, you got, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think I oh, oh, oh. Need a push! Oh need a push! God. Need a push! <laughs> this is the weirdest race I've ever seen. Oh, Jordan, you're yep, making it. Good job, Jordan. Good job. Josh. Could you not? Oh, no. I fell down. <laughs> you fell through it? Oh, I did the exact same thing. I did fail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how do I make this? Uh, you stab <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, uh, Josh, it's fine. Keep going. Josh. Oh. Wait, how did you guys make this one? Drive in the middle or not? No, no. no I put my right wheel on the right part. Josh, I can't do it. Ah. Got it. Jelly. Guys, now that I think about it, this car actually looks like a Tesla Model X. Jelly, help me. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I made it! I cannot believe it. Well, now the now the most important part, the jump. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna wait here a little bit for you because this is hilarious. <laughs> I've it's so funny to look at you guys struggling. Yeah, that that part is actually not too hard. It looks insanely tough. It's not too bad. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Take it easy. Jordan. Don't try and blame that on me. Oh, oh my God. Are you genuinely blaming that on me? Gosh, I I did the entire thing on the outside. Yeah, I, I know the outside is the best. It leaves like the perfect. Okay, it doesn't work. It's it's I haven't made it. Okay. I'm not gonna touch you. I trust me. I respect this. Yes! 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 You made it! Did you go from the back, Jelly? Did you go from the back? <laughs> oh, straight through it. Alright, well, we made it. Let's just wait here. Oh, you still on the other side of it, like, you're out to you. Yeah. Turn immediately. Nice, Jordy, nice! Because you need to keep going, you can't stop too long. Keep the curry. <laughs> Jordy, no! I got this, don't worry. Just back up and then throw it straight away, you can't slow down. Don't worry, don't worry, I got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Oh my god. <laughs> I got this, I got this. What's next? Basically, stay at the back. Don't worry about the bumps. Straight angle. Here you go, Jordy. Okay, nice come on. work. Come on. Nice work. Come on. Come on Here Jordy. he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Oh, finally. Alright, let's keep on going here. Yeah? What's up next? What a weird race. I, I didn't We're think this race halfway. would be so exciting, guys. With this, with this weird, with this weird car. Got some sun. Yeah, everything. Just right, guys. Nope. Oh, on the left. On the left. I'm so confused. On the left. You gotta go on the left. This way, guys. Ah, uh, wait. Up here. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, it's strong enough! Oh my goodness, you gotta make this it. This is the worst! You gotta go pretty fast. Oh my god. Gosh, you're not even going up? Yeah, Why is this hard to jump? I didn't make the jump. No! Me neither! Who came up with this? Okay, I'm trying it again. <laughs> this is rough what I'm doing right now. Good luck when you get on here. Come on. Oh, wow! Three! That's insane! That's insane!
He's dead. Alright, let's. He's dead. Oh no! Oh, oh let's go. What? Let's go attack him. What? Jeremy sniped him 140 miles. I knocked him when he was doing an emo! So he's coming from the stairs. I hear him coming oh, down the stairs. What? I could have sniped him. <laughs> sure. He fell to the ground. Oh, oh, oh. I killed him! Oh, he's Right here, I wish I was smart. Not good! One to go! He's not down? How is he not for you? Nice, Shiro! Back to back. Back to back. Do we have to play again? Damn it! Sure. Okay. I was in that idea. Mark, he's gonna get he's gonna get he's gonna die in the throne, Michael. Okay. Yeah. Are you he's right there, shoot out! He's gonna uh, oh, what? Yes! Shoot! Guys, that's awesome. It's crazy. Calm down, too. Oh, no.
Same time, what the hell? Wow, nice. <sighs> Yeah, just roll it in. Okay, let's see if they count it. Did they count it? Come on! And... Alright. Oh, let's get it, boy. Hell yeah! Don't hit my balls, Mike. All in one. All in one. All in one for Mike. Oh my god. Man. What a hole in one, man. Far, far for Sebastian. Alright. This hole in one since August of 2019, and technically, my fourth for her. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. All in one. All in one.